Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Favorites. This is the video where I go through my top five favorites for the month in beauty, clothing, accessories, and lifestyle. Before we get any farther, I keep mentioning links and description box in all my videos. A lot of you still don't know what I'm talking about. I'm here to help you. If you are watching on the desktop or the, I think it's pretty much the same on whichever kind of device you're watching, you'll see either a little carrot or it'll say show more somewhere near the title. There should be maybe some dots even. Click over there, it'll expand into a whole big description box with everything I talk about, everything I'm wearing, the links on where to get more information or to shop them, as well as some additional things you may be interested in looking at. So do please click down there. Also, a quick update before we jump into favorites. Starting in December, I'm going to go to a two video per week upload. Normally, I upload three videos a week, and I'm gonna try something a little different and go to a Sunday, Thursday upload schedule. This allows me more time for all kinds of things, more time to really put the effort and thought into the creation of hopefully even better content for you, the ability to create more content on other platforms like Instagram and my newsletter, and because both my kids are coming home this month, more family time as well. All right, let's jump into the favorites, and we're gonna start, as always, with beauty. Let's start out with some skincare products, one which is brand new. This is the Colleen Rothschild Hyaluronic Serum. This has replaced my SkinCeuticals HA Intensifier, and I will tell you why. Two reasons. One, it's just better. It's more easy to use. It flows over my skin better. I have seen great results immediately from using it. It's also, I can't remember if it's a full half the price, but it's significantly less expensive than the SkinCeuticals version. And I really, really prefer this dispenser. This has a little pump top. It dispenses, I just do a little bead on my fingers and then dot it all over my face and rub it in. I use this morning and night. And in the order of my skincare, this is my last step before I put on any moisturizer, whether it's an eye cream or all over face moisturizers. This is basically my next to last step in my skincare routine. So this is outstanding, absolutely love it. I do have a coupon code always for Colleen Rothschild. It's goldgirl20 for 20% off. She's also always having sales. So if her sale codes are better, by all means, use those. My code is not an affiliate link. The other skincare product, so there is a story behind this. So here we go. Number two, it's the La Mer Creme de La Mer Moisturizing Cream. This is a full-size jar. I have a small travel size that I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I keep in my travel toiletry bag. And if you missed that video where I showed you everything that I packed in my skincare or my toiletry bag, I should say, definitely click and check that out. But I just keep scooping out from here and putting it in my travel bag. I usually don't use this every single day at home. I find that's very rich, it's extremely moisturizing. It might not be something I need at home, but for whatever reason, my skin just goes nuts when I travel, even when I travel to humid places. So in this case, here's a little story, we went to Mississippi for Thanksgiving week. Mississippi is a very humid state. It actually rained a few days, so 100% humidity. Even so, my skin went so dry that the minute I put on foundation, everything just started peeling off. Whether I use sunscreen or no sunscreen, nothing worked. I washed my face, put on all my normal steps, but when I got to the moisturizer, I pulled out the travel size of the Creme de la Mer. And this is the only moisturizer I used morning and night for the entire eight days we were on the road. And my makeup went on smoothly, beautifully, no more weird flakiness. And I saw an improvement in my skin from using it for seven days straight or eight days, however many days it was. So have to put this on my favorites. It saved my skin. I know it's a splurge. There are all kinds of gift sets going on right now at Nordstrom that make this a little more affordable, or it's one of those things that you buy the smallest size and you just save it for when you really need extreme dry skin remedy. Much more budget-friendly option. This was the only palette that I brought with me and all I used and it's what I have on today. And it's actually part of a set. It's limited edition. I usually hate sharing limited edition stuff, but I feel like you need to jump on it. So it's two palettes in one. It's the Glamour palette, which is a little more cool toned and I feel like more neutrals. And then it also comes with the Gilded palette, which is definitely more warm tones, more pinks, more golds. 
I prefer the Glamour palette, although I have used them both, and both of them together are $54, which is insane. And they're buttery soft and smooth and creamy, and the shimmers are gorgeous, and the mattes blend. I'm wearing a bunch now. Definitely jump on this gift set. Now this one, wow. So I did a video earlier this month on luxury makeup items that are more budget friendly. So, you know, Dior for instance. It's a couture brand, it's expensive, it's luxury. But maybe you don't have to buy a Dior bag or Dior sunglasses, you just buy the lip oil. The lip oil is $38, so it's a little splurge that if you're giving a gift, the recipient will love, I gifted it to myself. So. This was pretty much all I wore every single day when we were on the road, and I've been wearing it almost every single day the whole month of November. It's the Dior Lip Glow Oil. I have it in the shade Raspberry. It is sold out in so many places. I linked it to somewhere I found that has every shade except Cherry, which is, I think, the most popular shade, but it does have email alerts for when it gets back in stock, and I do want to pick that one up. But I'm wearing it today over just a little bit of lip liner. I didn't even fill in my lips. And most days, I don't even bother with a lip liner. I just slap this on. It is so good. It gives just enough color, and it's moisturizing, and it feels really, really nice on the lips. And then the last beauty favorite is a little set. It is from Too Faced. It's available on HSN. It's a great price. I think it's $25 for both of them. It's a brow pencil, which I do love. I feel like it's a lot sturdier than like the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which mine snapped again. It is the third or fourth version where the little spoolie part snapped off. I'm so annoyed. This feels much more solid. It's a really nice, super fine tip on one end and then the spoolie on the other. But the standout in this package has to be the brow gel. I'm always on the hunt for newer, better, more effective brow gel. And this is their Too Faced brow wig, comes with the pencil. And the color blonde, I love. I just think that it is the perfect blonde shade. I can't speak to the other shades. I like the brush. It's thick, but short, so you're not gonna get it all over your face. And it has all these little fibers, more fibers than I've ever seen in any of the other brow gels that I've used. And a couple days, like long road trip days where we were driving eight, nine hours, I didn't really want to deal with makeup, but I did want my brows put in place. We, I talked about like my very basic minimal makeup look. Great for mature skin, great for all people, but especially mature people who just wanna look a little more than they normally do without a lot of effort and minimal products. I wanna, sw I wanna refilm the video and put this one in because you just put this through your eyebrows and you have like instantly shaped groomed, filled in eyebrows. It's fantastic. So far the best brow gel I've ever used and I've used a lot. All right, that is it for beauty. Let's move on to clothing. This month I had the opportunity to do a sponsored Instagram post with a retailer called Maurice's. Now many of you may have heard of Maurice's. I had not, I had not met with them or heard of them until I actually went to the LTK conference. And I'm so glad that this happened because I have found my favorite pair of jeans. And I also found out that there is a Maurice's in San Antonio, it's a little far from me, but worth the trip. And that's on my list of things to do this month. What I'm getting at is if you have been looking for the perfect pair of jeans, this part is not sponsored, you need to check out Maurice's because it's insane. They have sizes from like zero to 24, plus size regular. Here's the kicker. They have at least four, sometimes five inseam lengths. So the pair of jeans that I love is a mid-rise, curvy fit, slim boot cut. And I wore it twice last week. I've been wearing it nonstop. I just haven't really been sharing it until I did the, the sponsored post. I got it in the short length. This particular pair of jeans comes in short, regular, long, and extra long for my tall friends. And then there are quite a few that even have extra short. So extra short, short, regular, long, extra long. Insane. So there is a fit for everyone and the curvy fit, if you have an hourglass figure like me where you have the boobs, your waist goes in and then your hips and butt go back out again, these fit like a dream. And they are under $60. Love them. Okay, so that's number one. Number two was also a sweater that I found at Maurice's, and I'm excited about this. If you're watching this from a warmer climate, we do feel like it gets cold here. I know that our cold may not look the same as cold if you live up north, but we think it's cold. But the heavy, bulky sweaters sometimes are too much for us. I want an everyday sort of 60 degree sweater. To me, that's a little chilly. And this is the perfect weight, and it brings in the trend of the fringe sleeves without being obnoxious. 
It's sort of more of a traditional fit sweater with a little tiny trend. It's a great price point and it's really lightweight. I love this so much. I wore it the day that I shot my collaboration and then I wore it to a holiday party with some friends at their house. It was a little low key. I didn't need to like bring out my sparkles and sequins and velvets just yet. And then I wore it again on a road trip. This one is in repeat. I'm so glad that I found Maurice's. Okay, now that we've covered some budget friendly items, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to introduce a couple that are just so good. I have to share them. They are my favorites, but they are not budget friendly. These are two pieces from Spanx. It's from their new Air Essentials collection. I know they were pretty much sold out on the Spanx website because they were offering 20% off. I did find them in a couple other places and I've linked to them in the description box. And one of them, I believe it's Amazon, is showing as of today as the same as the sale prices at Spanx. So give that one a look. It is their half zip top and their wide leg pants. Now, Spanx makes these, but these are not compression or shapewear garments in any way. These are the most luxe, luxurious, I can't even describe this fabric. It feels like silk and scuba had a baby. I don't know how to describe it. It just drapes, it feels like you're wearing air. I guess that's why they call it air essentials. And it just drapes and it's so beautiful. The wide leg pants, my only criticism is that they do not have pockets, but then I realize that putting pockets in them would make it gape on the hips around the tummy and ruin the line. So I understand the thought process there. But they run, I would say, if not true to size, a little bit big. I'm wearing size small in the top and a size small petite in the pants. Their pants run long. So I'm five foot four. If you're five foot four or shorter, definitely go with the petite. I could live in these. If I never had to change clothes and just wear them during the day, sleep in them, if I could get away with it, I would. I have them in the black. I am hoping they restock because I really, really want them in the beige and maybe the olive green. They are that good. And there are a few other pieces in the collection, but I'm really enjoying the two pieces that I have. Another clothing favorite is what you see here. I just got this one during the Black Friday sale at Nordstrom, and this is another Rails Hunter button-down shirt. I have paid full price for a couple of them, but when I see them on sale, I snatch them up, and there are so many colors to choose from. But at this price point, this is normally $168. I know it is definitely a splurge. I am I try to get the ones that are gonna go with the most. So when I saw this one, I've actually had this, on my, had this on my wish list for a while. This is a white on white plaid. It is super subtle unless you get right up close. It's that same drapey material. I will say with Rails Hunter shirts, size up one, especially if you're busty. So I have mine in a medium and it's the perfect fit for me. I did find a dupe. Now we're supposed to say looks for less, but either way, I found almost identical. It's from Nordstrom, it's one of their house brands, and I think full price it's 58 or $59, so it's, it's not even a third of the price of the Rails Hunter shirts. They don't have as many patterns, I think maybe three or four. As I'm filming this, they are on sale, quite a few of them for about 38 or $34, so check both of them out if you are interested in those. And then the last of my clothing favorites, kind of lived in this. We had a little tiny cold spell before we left for Thanksgiving and I pulled out the heavier robe. It was time to, to switch from my lightweight cool nights robe from Soma. That's generally what I wear. And then when it gets colder, I pulled out something I got during the anniversary sale. It is the UGG, I think it's called the Lenny robe. I have mine just in a solid navy. It comes in a bunch of colors, cream, white, pale pink, I think a mauve the navy, but it does come in a really cool black and white sort of animal print if you want something a little more fun, but it's really warm, but really thin material. So you're not just adding all this bulk to you as you live, as I do in my robe most days. So love it. And it feels like you're dressed up a little bit. I mean, I'm still walking around the house in my bathrobe, but I'm gonna pretend like I look a little more elegant in this one. Moving on to accessories. This was a favorite from last year and I'm so glad it is back. It is the Time and True Cozy Wrap. I actually got another one at that holiday party I mentioned. It was a favorite things party and someone had brought them as their favorite thing. This year it is not only back at the same price, but it is back in even more patterns, solids, stripes, Aztec print, animal print, space dyed print, so many prints. I've listed them all down below. As I'm filming this, I think they're on sale for $14, but that might be the Walmart Black Friday thing, Cyber Monday thing happening, but even at full price, 
buy, just buy these, just have them ready to gift because they are so amazingly good. Number two, again, another sponsored opportunity that introduced me to a brand that I think is super cool. And you may have spotted me wearing these pieces throughout November. The brand is called Nogu and they make the coolest jewelry. Uh, these are the standouts. These are these rainbow glass mermaid white drop earrings that I have been wearing and loving. And what's cool about these is they are iridescent and reflect whatever ambient light there is. So they look like just kind of basic clear, but then when the light hits it, even in very little light, they just send off all these cool, almost like rainbow effect inside the glass. I'm also wearing a variety of the bracelets. They have other colors as well. I think the rainbow white is really neat. I think it's a really cool concept. They also donate a bunch of money to an organization that deals with the oceans, if that's something that's important to you. I think it's a really cool brand. And again, these sponsored opportunities are really neat because I get to try out brands that I've never even heard of. I wouldn't even know to look for them. And somehow they found me. So I'm very, feel very, very lucky and very excited to share what I found with you. Number four is a boot that I just cannot stop wearing. I know this heel looks like a lot, but it's actually super comfortable. It's a Western style, slightly higher up on the ankle, but it is not with all the embroidery. It's just a nice clean front, just a very subtle nod to Western, I'd say, with the braiding right here and the shape of the toe and even the stacked heel, but it's subtle. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a a cowboy costume and they're really comfortable. These didn't even need to be broken in. I've walked miles in these. They also come in a really rich brown leather and a black suede, but I'm a sucker for a nude shoe. The other shoe I've been loving that is very budget friendly is this guy. Now you're gonna think, Marnie, those are Ugg boots. Those are not budget friendly. No, no, my friends, these are not from Ugg. These are from Time and True at Walmart. Yes, you heard me correctly. And these are not faux suede. This is real suede. Now the shirling I think is faux, but I, I don't care. I love these. I have been living in these. I took them with me on my trip. I wear them around the house. They come in two other colors. They run true to size. They're under 25 bucks. Yes, you need these grab them. They sell out pretty quickly, so definitely keep checking because I have noticed they are definitely restocking these as well. And then the last for accessories are these little earrings. I love this concept. I have kind of moved away from big statement earrings and I like smaller, more elegant earrings that have a little bit of something to them. And these are just a step up from a stud. These are the petite pave earrings from Dean Davidson. These also come in silver. And it just has some little delicate white topaz across it. It's a tiny little dangle. It's not a huge thing. It just creates a little movement at the earlobes, a little thing of interest, but it doesn't pull everyone's view away from your face, which is what you want people to be looking at. But I love, I love these and I love the warm gold and I have been wearing them more days than not. And then finally, my lifestyle favorites. I've been meaning to share this. So we road trip, which means I can bring whatever I want with me. I'm not dealing with space constraints. And so I am extra enough that I bring my pillow from home with me. It's just an old, I think it's from Target. It's an old down pillow. I couldn't even tell you the brand, but I put it in, I used to carry it, I should say, in a big Ikea bag. Now I ordered the Scout extra large zip up tote bags so I can fit my pillow in there. I usually bring either one of my barefoot dreams or now I'm loving, um, this throw that I got from Amazon, I'll list it below. I fold that up and put it in there. I even bring my little, a little lap pillow so when I sit in bed with my coffee in the morning, I can rest my iPad on there and answer your comments. I'm that, I'm extra, okay. These are the benefits of not flying on an airplane. You get to bring all your things. So I like this Scout bag because when it's empty, it just folds up flat, but it's not as, I don't know, it's a little more classy than walking in with a giant Ikea bag into the hotel. I have brought this into a Ritz Carlton. I have stayed in this with a Weston. Like it goes with me whatever hotel I'm at. I love this thing. Next, wow, this one, I think you're gonna get excited. I'm excited. We've all seen the Stanley Cups. I have two of them, the one with the handle, and I like it, and I've been using mine like crazy, trying to up my intake of water. But then a few of you recommended that I try this one instead. So this is also from Stanley. It's 30 ounces instead of 40 ounces, which is fine. I have to fill it up two and a half times, I guess, to get my full water intake for the day. Actually, that's even more than I need. It still fits in the cup holder in all your cars. It's still dishwasher safe. 
Here's what I love. This handle, instead of, you know, like on the side, like a mug, is much more user-friendly because I can, I mean, it just is. I like this built-in straw that, here's the key part, when you flip it shut, and there's water in here, hear that? When you flip it shut, I don't have to worry about all this falling out. I took my, the one I had with the, the Influencer Cool Girl cup with the big handle, the 40 ouncer, that's what I took with me when we went on a road trip, but every time I got out of the car, lean over to grab something, throw my luggage, water kept spilling everywhere. This thing, you're not gonna have to worry about that. So I like my cup, the original version, I have it. I use it more at home, but when I'm leaving the house, this is the one that comes with me now. I love this. Thanks for the recommendations, guys. It works both ways. Also, very busy time of the year for all of us, and it's hard for me to stay on task. One thing that's helped, I've mentioned this before, are the visual timers. I have this one. You just, there's nothing fancy about this. You just turn it to how far you need it, 25 up to, you know, five minutes up to 60 minutes. And it shows you the countdown just by seeing how much time is left. It's not distracting. I don't have to set a timer on my phone because then I'm gonna keep looking to see how much time is left and I'll get distracted by notifications on my phone. And it just beeps when you're done. So I think this is fantastic and it's a great gift for all kinds of people, students, busy people, basically everybody. So I've been using this a ton. Another lifestyle and holiday favorite. I'm recommended this as one of those gifts you can get in a hurry and I bought one for myself. It's the Nest Holiday Scent Candle. I haven't even lit it. I have it on a tray in my kitchen on the island and even unlit, it just permeates the room with this beautiful scent. You get it when you walk by, you smell it while you're washing dishes or prepping food. Eventually I may light this, but it's amazing what a strong scent this throws off without being lit at all. And the container is gorgeous and it's, it's just so lovely. You can nowadays get it year round, but it's, I only burn it or smell it or have it out during the holiday season. And then the last thing that I have been using and I think would make a nice addition is this gold and marble coat rack basically or stand. I bought it personally to use it to show outfits while I'm filming, but then I realized it works as a really nice valet stand. So I have it in a corner of my bathroom. It doesn't take up very much space at all. And I can lay out an outfit for the day, hang it all up. It looks nice. It's not laying across like my hamper or somewhere else that I tend, I tend to do. And it's a nice addition to the bathroom. I think it comes in other colors as well. And there's some other variations, but I really like just the matte gold of the stand and then the it's clearly faux marble base. And I think it would work in a lot of situations. I don't have a custom closet, so I don't have those cool hooks that you can pull out. I've always wanted those. So this is a nice, more affordable option than gutting my entire closet. Well, those are all my favorites from the month of November. Let me know what your standouts were, if any of these were on your list as well. Do please check that description box for all the links and a whole bunch of other things in there that I think you might find of interest. Hope you're doing well, and I really hope I see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Bye.